of the stamina sork okay this is a very very strong build for 1vx scene open world it it's it's pretty good small group play it's got some mega healing awesome damage and the survivability is pretty awesome as well okay so it's pretty well rounded um and yeah it is it, is pretty decent okay got one of the sets off um one of the lads who you'll know is jackball 98 okay on his build over on his YouTube, if you want to go check out that, um, he's heading up that. But yeah, I'm using one of the sets um, that he's currently using, but then I'm mixing it up with a different set to give this um, build a little bit more utility, a little bit more utility and bigger max stat pool. So let's go straight into it then. Let's go straight into the gear. So the gear we are running five shackle breaker. Okay, I'm running a um, sharpened maul. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is because our weapon damage is nuts on this anyway. It's really high. So I want to still hit the penetration. I want to still get real high penetration, okay? So we're going with maul and we're going with sharpened. And this is going to give us a nice amount of penetration. That with the CP tree, when I'll show you when we go into the CP tree, okay, works really well and gives us the penetration that Spriggans would normally give us or we're missing if we didn't use Night Mother's Gaze or Spriggans or all that sort of good stuff. But Shacklebreaker is going to give us more max stat um, all round and give us a little bit more survivability as well. Okay, because the extra weapon damage that we get from Shacklebreaker, um, all this extra max stam, Max Magic, Magic Recovery, Stam Recovery. Okay, all this is perfect for um, a stamina sort for days on this, guys. I know it's <laughs> I know people hate people who dart deal a lot, but you can dart deal for days on this build, okay, which just adds a huge amount of survivability, okay? So that's why I've gone this way over Spriggans or Night Mother's Gaze, because this gives us more survivability, and I can get the penetration by running a maul and running sharpened. And using the CP tree. That bar, we're using shackle, sword, and board. Okay. Now the sword is Nern Honed. This is, for me personally, because I have my vigor on the bat bar, best in slot trait. Okay. Now you can go defending. You can go wh whatever trait you normally go. Okay. But you'll, you'll have to put your vigor on the front bar. You don't have to. But to maximize your healing, you need it to be on the bar where your weapon damage is high. Now on this build, my weapon damage is higher on my sword and board build uh, on my sword and board bar than it is on my 2H bar. Okay, so my vigor is is got a, a nice good tool tip. Okay, and we're getting really really strong healing on this build. Monster set. Okay, we're going Bloodspawn. We're not running the Troll King cheese. Okay, we don't need it. Okay, we've got skill to replace Troll King, so don't worry about it. Bloodspawn. I love the Bloodspawn. One Piece Recovery, okay? The ulti, ulti Regen is insane on this because I'm a Nord, okay? So I'm a Nord, Ulti Regen, and you'll also see that I'm using Heroic Slash. So we are getting Ulti for days on this build. Actual days. We have a Dawnbreaker, we kill someone, we execute, we ex... Okay. Also, we go with a Physical and Spy Resistance from this because um, it allows us to be a little bit more tanky. And Bloodspawn is proccing all the time, all the time. You're getting a lot of uptime on Bloodspawn. Okay, so we've got a shackle, shackle breaker uh, chest piece. We've got triglyph, shackle breaker, shackle breaker uh, pieces there. Okay, and then we, as you can see, I've gone Bryheart, hands, legs, and jewelry. So Bryheart is our second five piece. Um, now, if you've watched Jack's video, you'll be familiar with this, but if not, okay, this is an awesome damage set. And also, survivability okay so if you haven't seen this set it gives you weapon critical max stam weapon crit so it's the exact same as running hundings uh, yeah hundings four piece okay but the fifth piece when you deal critical damage you have 10 percent chance to increase your weapon damage by 439 for 10 seconds while this effect is active your critical strikes heal you for 785 health with this uh, with the, um, this effect can happen once every 15 seconds, okay? Got tongue twisted there, bear in mind. Okay, so this is an awesome survivability tool. It's given us healing while we're critting, 
okay? And it's given as a big chunk of weapon damage. Now, if you don't have Bryhart, it's not a big deal, okay? Bryhart for Hundings. You can go Hundings, which will give you the exact same four piece, and it will give you 288 weapon damage. So your flat stats will be better than this one that I'm running. But my buff stats, I'll have an easy extra 300. Um, to, well, no, I have an extra 250 extra weapon damage, okay? Inclu and I get the extra healing from the crit damage that I'm doing from Bryhart, okay? So Bryhart is best in slot, okay? But if you don't have Bryhart, it's not the end of the world. I was using Julianus before this, and I was using Shacklebreaker Jewelry, as you can see there. Um, and it was working just fine. It was working fine, but I just wanted to min max it and go that little bit, go that little bit stronger. Why not? If you can. So as you can see, there I'm one piece robust, and then I'm infused weapon damage on the rings. Now you can go, you can stay robust if you want. It's not a problem. Um, you should bust your max stamina. But I've just gone all out weapon damage. I want to hit like a truck. Everyone knows who plays medium stand sork. It's all about that big burst. Okay, and that is what we are going for. We're keeping the big burst on the stand sork. So we went infused weapon damage. So that's it for the gear. Okay, let's go into the skills. So the skills we're using Hurricane. This is going to be our physical and spell resistance buff and uh, give us a little bit of mobility. Also it does damage to the enemy as well. So try and keep 100% up, uptime on this. Um, this is also going to proc your Bryheart as well. But if you can get away with using Momentum, um, then do it. But personally, I prefer Rally, so I use Shuffle. Um, so yeah, Shuffle is going to be our snare removal and... It's going to reduce the damage from AoE uh, abilities, such as, like, you know, jabs, cow chops, all that sort of good stuff that gets placed on the floor. Um, and obviously, we all know that Stamplars are hard-hitting this patch, so it's nice to have that uh, reduction from the jabs. Okay, Resolving Vigor. This is going to be our um, heal over time. Give us a little bit of a burst heal, and then it's going to give us heal over time. Dark Deal. Okay, this is going to give us um, a burst heal and give us stamina back. But to be honest with you, you're not using this to get your stamina back. You're only using this for that cheeky little burst heal. Okay, sometimes you might have to use it for the stamina if you've been offensive for quite a long time. Okay, but because we've got um, a lot of magicka on this build, if we need a good chunk of health, I can spam this two, three, four times in a row and I'll get my health back. But yeah, no pressure, no problem. Heroic Slash, okay. This for me is for 1vx scene is... It's literally bob on, to be honest. You can use puncture and cause the major fracture, which will cause you to do more damage. Um, but I just find the damage, because I am a medium, I just find the damage reduction from this ability and everything it provides is, is just so OP. So, as you can see, it does 8,873 um, 8, physical damage. It reduces their movement speed by 60%. For four seconds, so this is allowing me to land my dizzy and swings, reducing their damage by 15%. OP as fuck. You can cast that on every person that is attacking you. That is for 12 seconds. That is a long duration. You gain minor heroism, granting you one ultimate every 1.5 seconds for nine seconds. Okay? This, with Nord, with Bloodspawn, awesome ulti-regen. Ulti-regen equals survivability. Yeah, beautiful. Bat bar. Now you could change this. I don't have the Sigic Order Ultimate. I would say that was probably best in slot because it makes you tankier. Uh, but I don't have it and I'm not going to farm it because I've already farmed it once and I ain't doing it again. Because um, I ain't doing... I hate PvE land, so it's not happening. Great Storm Atro is going to be the ultimate I use. If I get caught out in the open, then it gives me something to kite around. Um, and also, it adds that nice little bit of pressure on someone who's a little bit tankier, okay? And I, he keeps perma blocking, so what I'll do is I'll drop my atro on it, I'll keep constant pressure, and then I'll just try and try and burst him from there. Front ball, we're running bound ornaments, okay? We're using this because it gives us our uh, max stamina um, and light attack damage by... Um, 11%, okay? I like Attack Weave for everything on this build, so that is a big damage increase, okay? Crit Surge. We're running Crit Surge. Um, we're not using it for the buff. We're literally using this um, to correspond with the Bryheart, which is going to be, while active, dealing critical strikes, 
heal you for 3,919 health. Healing you, when, th when um, you get a crit, this heals you. Okay, you're getting 5k heals off this. This with Vigor is giving you immense amount of healing, and that is without using your Rally Heal, which is going to be your Major Brutality buff, and it's going to give you a beautiful Burst Heal, okay, as long as you don't spam it. It's good on this build because you don't have to spam Rally because your heals over time are that strong. Okay, reverse slice, this is going to be our execute. Dizzying swing, this is going to be our main damage ability, okay? Everyone that uses Dizzying swing will feel my pain when it comes to landing this. But for Stam Sork, it just works beautiful. Um, and when you do and drop a Dawnbreaker, it's so rewarding and the damage is insane. Dawnbreaker is smiting, you have to use this on a, on a Stam Sork. It just hits so, so hard, okay? It, it's like a truck. I've been one-bombed by this. I've one-bombed people by this. This ability is so strong on a Samsung. It's, it's a must-have. So let's have a look. All points into stamina. Okay, I'm using the um, Warrior Munderstone, so I'm increasing the weapon damage even further. So as you can see, I've gone really high on the weapon damage. Um, high weapon damage equals good healing, equals good damage, equals survivability. It's as simple as that. Okay. Um, and as I said before, I am a Nord, okay? If you want to see what Nord does and why I went Nord, okay? Nord. Um, and also gain immunity from chilled effects, which is nice. Increases max stamina by 1,500. When you take damage, you gain 5 ultimate, okay? This is what I was on about by being a Nord. And increase your physical and spell resistance by basically 4k. By just being an Nord, okay? So I get 4k, which allows me to run high damage sets and allows me to run medium armor because Nord covers the resistance side of life for me. Now, if I was running like maybe fortified brass, then I would use Orc because it would give me the damage that I'd be missing for my, for my um, sets, okay? And that's pretty much how it works with the, with the races. But I find this best as slot. Nord, and then run damage sets. And there's your survivability and damage all covered in just that little bit there. So let's go to the champion tree. Again, I say it every time. Personal preference. Okay, slot this wherever you want. This is where I have it slotted. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is a, a, what I find is best in slot for me. And how, how I find it works more efficiently for me. If you have any questions about the CP, if you really don't have a clue, then yeah, use my CP tree um, or just comment in the comments below and I'm more than uh, more than happy to help you or give you any uh, type of advice. So let's, let's have a look at the stats. Let's have a look at the stats on the bat bar. Okay, so bat bar, we are looking at 24 and a half. So Bloodspawn, we're looking nearly 30k resistances. Okay. As you can see there, we've got 3.8... Uh, weapon damage on the bat bar and then we got 1.7 recovery and then we got just shy of 30k max 35k max stamp with 24k health so that's nice health pool considering we're a medium and you see there we got a beautiful mag pool there which is 13.3k that is a lot of magicka and it allows you to use um, a lot of dart deals which adds survivability so let's look at the front bar so our front bar stats as uh, as that unbuffed, okay. So, and by unbuffed I mean it's not without the Bryheart. okay. So we got 3.8 weapon damage with 45% crit, 1.9 recovery, just shy 36k uh, max stam, um, and yeah, our resistances front bar are 20, basically 21k. We're still the same crit resist. So as you can see there, the stats are really nice. Really impressive. And when we get the Bryheart, we have the Bryheart on top of that. Okay. Um, which gives us... What's the Bryheart gives us? What? 430. 430 on top of that. Okay. We're looking at a good 4.4k uh, weapon damage there. Fully buffed. Get continuous. You're looking at a good 4.6 weapon damage all in. And you're in like a truck. So, yeah. And then you've got a light attack on top of that. Okay. As you can see, once you nuts, 
Um, but just like this, the damage at three point, basically 3.8k weapon damage, you are hitting like a truck without any of the external buffs. Then you get Bright Art on top of that, and then, yeah, it just hits like a truck. Healing is insane. Okay. My tooltips have been bugging out lately. I wonder if it will uh, do it this time. Okay, as you can see there, we've got an 18.2k um, Vega tip, which is really good. Considering we have no major mending, we have no minor mending, we have no healing buff sets on, we got nothing on, all we got is straight weapon damage. Okay, so when Bryheart procs, this will turn into a 20k Vega tip, uh, Vega tooltip, and yeah, it, the healing on this is absolutely nuts. Um, and I think that is about it. Oh, wait, consumables. I always forget these bad lads. So let's have a look. So I am using the um, Essence of Weapon Crit. So these will give you Major Savagery. Okay. Major Fortitude. And it'll give you um, Increased Stamina Pots. Um, uh, in <laughs> stamina Recovery Pots. Okay. These are best in slot personally for me. If you're not going to use these... Then I would swap out Crit Surge for Camo Hunter and then use Speed of Move Pots or whatever pots you deem you want to uh, use instead of them pots. Bat Ball. Um, I use this po uh, this poison. Ideally, you want to use the Double Dot Poison. Okay, this is the one I've, I've got at the moment. And I'm just trying to get through it and then I'll make some Double Dot Poisons. Okay, but ideally... Um, and that is it for the for the build, guys. Thanks for all the support. We just reached the thousand subs. Massive thanks for everyone who subbed. Huge support, absolute legends. Um, I'm just going to carry on creating content. Please comment below, give me some feedback, uh, positive or negative. Either way, helps me build the channel and and helps me, um, you know, point point the channel in the right direction. Peace out. Cheers, guys.